Hey, precious people. Sorry you're catching me at a difficult time when I'm down in my health a lot. But it seems like those are the times that I most clearly hear when God is sharing words with me. I needed to document several upcoming visions that I've had. I posted in, in the Remnant Rising when I started sharing about the vision where it, I just heard pray for October. And I felt like there was a, a big wave of things coming for the end of September and, and October and on. And uh, unfortunately, I just I think so many times things fall on deaf ears. I wish to God I could just shake people and open their eyes myself, but I can't do it. All I can do is just keep sharing what God's showing me. And uh, it's hard to share. I'm going to be honest. It's it's so hard to share because I know how crazy some of it sounds but I knew how crazy it sounded when I told everybody that the whole country was going to shut down the world was going to shut down sports to churches to schools nobody believed that either and it happened I don't understand why God shows people things like this especially when it seems nobody will listen or believe but just a very teeny tiny portion but I gotta continue to be faithful with what God's telling me to do but I kept getting the visions back in August of 2022 that, that craziness was coming shocking things were coming well, then by the end of August and first week of September, it started coming more clearly. Pray for October, pray for October. I never knew exactly what was going on, but within the first few weeks of September, just almost weekly, more visions kept coming. I'm sorry, I'm in a lot of pain today, but... um. I shared with my nephew Jaden and his precious girlfriend Jaxie last night. And I've shared with my dad and my wife. But there are big things that are about to start happening here in the month of September towards the last week. 22nd, 3rd, 4th. But I kept seeing 24th as a day that jaws were going to drop. And here's the, the crazy thing, and i got to try to make it short, and it's hard because there's so many things. If you've ever seen a picture, in-picture TV, where there's like a little box in one corner watching one channel, then the TV's watching another. During this last vision, it almost seemed like a giant screen. But instead of one little box, there was 30 boxes. And it almost felt like God was showing me that there was going to be things happening. Up in one corner, one of the scenes that was going on, I saw concrete burning. Almost like... And I, I pray and I pray and I... I pray and I ask God to please protect people because the only thing I could assimilate with that one image was like at 9-11 after a building fell they zoomed in and you could see um, almost like a river of molten lava uh, from the jet fuel that burnt steel and as this hot steel was flowing it would burn through concrete it's one thing that, that I could associate in my mind when I saw concrete turning to liquid almost burning and melting in rubble almost in another in another screen 
<coughs> I saw the, the things as we know it toppling upside down. I made a little meme and I put it on Facebook through my Facebook page, but I don't think anybody's realizing what it meant. It had a picture of a church that was upside down, and I warned that things are about to get flipped upside down in society, government, world, uh, churches. And doesn't seem like anybody's getting it. But um, one of the images was a toppling, like leaders that you expect to be leaders are are not going to be leaders or or exposed and punished or uh, not just in, in our government. It seemed like there was other big leaders that were toppling. Um, in another screen, I saw churches, the ones that, that um, have become more entertainment, more... Um, playing games, not serious about doing God's work, not living right, not even preaching the truth. And God kept saying, my sheep are malnourished. They're underfed. What's coming is going to cause the flock to scatter. My sheep need to be fed. They need nourishment so that when the hard times come, when the predators show up to try to attack, the flock doesn't scatter and flee. They stand together in unity, defeating the enemy. God's sheep are malnourished. In another screen, I saw strange occurrences happening all in the skies. Some people claiming, no, it's got to be a UFOs, there's alien invasion or something. Uh, other people saying, no, it's, it's just lights in the sky. It's loud booms. It's the sounding of, of God's wake-up calls to his people. In another, in another uh, image, I saw... The Tower of Babel and how these evil people tried to equal God. And he let them build for a while. He let them, he let them do their thing. But there came a time when God answered back. And the word I kept hearing in my mind is God's about to flex back. He's about to answer back. The, these people have tried to play God for so long. Manipulating genes and health in people's lives. Trying to brainwash, trying to manipulate, trying to change the... Uh, weather. Food. Trying to, trying to eliminate the food sources. At the food processing plants all the way to the farmers. Because of... If they can drive the people into fear, they can control the people. And God's let them build their tower for a little while. But there's coming a moment soon where God's about to flex back. He's about to answer what all these evil people have been doing. And jaws are going to drop. There's, in another image, there was, there's a wave coming just like what came with, with COVID where people were shocked and appalled and still half the world pretends that it was a natural occurrence. Half the world doesn't want to realize this was a planned attack that they planned out for years. 20 years ago they were bragging that there was going to be a pandemic that, they, that happened in 2020 because it was planned. It was on the books. That ought to infuriate everybody. That ought to make people sit and think, all these people that died, this is murder. Murder. Because they felt like the population of the earth was too big. And so they were going to do a mass cleansing of the earth and get rid of a third of the population. Anybody that's followed my visions for some time 
knows that I've verified and I've given the video where they bragged about this 16 years ago that they were going to be releasing a virus and that they were going to have a vaccine that was going to brainwash and melt down some of the BMAP2 genes of, of believers' brains to try to turn them normal into atheists. They're playing God for too long and God's about to flex back. September 24th is going to be a day that will resound like 9-11. I just pray it doesn't have that kind of results on mortality rate and lives lost. In another screen I saw armies rising up against America against freedom against God another vision or another screen I saw like what you'd see in multiple news channels each one would have tsunamis, earthquakes volcanoes erupting Catastrophe and catastrophe, flooding, cities and countries flooding, houses, roofs just barely staying out of water in areas that have never flooded. God's going to start shaking this earth. But here's the thing if you remember your Bible, when Paul and Silas were in chains and God sent a great shaking of this earth they were set free when the shaking comes God's people are going to be fine but there's a big big wave coming there's so many things in this one vision I can't cover it all or I wouldn't even be able to save the video but we're about to see things turn upside down we're seeing the great falling away in the churches with God's sheep malnourished the flocks are going to scatter even more when this difficult time comes A year ago, I gave a vision that I felt like food sources were going to be attacked. Maybe two years ago, people like laughed at me and mocked at me. I even told people to stock up on salt. <laughs> and that's one thing I never thought I'd even think of. Canning agents, jars and lids and salt and preservatives. The natural way to do it God's way. But then here we are all this time later and we've seen, I don't even know the number now. Last I, the first number I heard about 27 warehouses, food processing plants had been sabotaged and, and like put out of commission. But I saw a map yesterday that I couldn't even count the number because it showed United States and the UK. Those two are the only place in the world where all these food processing plants have been attacked through arson or natural causes. And there was over a hundred of them. Farmers being told to mow their crops down to save the environment. All while these evil people are spraying lithium into the atmospheres and the skies and dust and things into the air atmosphere trying to dim the sun that Bill Gates claims that he can stop global warming yet smart countries like Sweden ran him out of their country because it was doing the reverse it was heating things up and killing crops and animals the man is trying to play God and all those associated in that rich elite I don't know if it's just the Illuminati or bigger than that I don't, I don't know but the rich elite are driven 
by demons and a power from Satan. And they have played God far too long. The Tower of Babel is about to fall. They're about to start seeing God flex back as he answers back the things that they've been allowed to get away with for a while. I'll need to finish later. I love y'all so much. Please just stay encouraged. If you're a child of God, you don't have anything to fear. God always wins in the end. We know the end. One thing I need to encourage believers right now, the last thing I got to say, if you've been taught all your life in denominations about the specific events and happenings of end times in a literal way, I want to encourage you to stop being tempted to dismiss things as, oh, this can't be the end of time because there's got to be thousands of this and a hundred years of this and thousands. Let me just tell you, sometimes the enemy can cause even religious teachings to cause God's people to be blindsided by some of the things that are coming. So I encourage you to just get with God. The Holy Spirit will guide you. He will give you wisdom. If you're seeking it. But if you're relying on. Just the things. That you've always been taught. To cause you to put up. Walls of complacency. It's going to backfire on you. I'm just trying to let you know. I love y'all. And I got to get off here.